Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I wanted to show you a brand new watercoloring coloring book from Christy Rice. I introduced you to a few of her coloring books a while back. It was about a year ago and I've had a lot of fun watercoloring in these books and here's a brand new one that's just come out. In fact, today is the release day and kind of fun on the forward page. Here's a little review by me. I thought that was kind of fun. So um, I was so uh, honored that she asked me if I would include that uh, or write that up for her for her new book. So inside you have lots of fun techniques. She's got some new instruction at the very beginning of the book, um, tips and techniques to use while you're watercoloring on all the pages and she also has suggested supplies and things that you can use. So I didn't realize it but in this book and the ones previous you can use that flap to kind of keep your place in the book or to protect the pages underneath when you're watercoloring on top. I thought that was kind of cool and um, just like the other books at the very beginning you have some explanation or some info about all the different types of things that are illustrated inside the book. So on this one, it's mostly flowers. So you're going to have some bouquets and wreaths and different things like that. And that info at the beginning of the book is super helpful because it not only gives you the name of the flowers so that you can look up some example images online, but she also gives you some great tips on how you can watercolor them or paint them to have them look a little bit more realistic or have them look like the flower they're meant to be. I thought that was really fun. So I went through and kind of picked out which image I wanted to paint and this is the one that I chose and you can definitely leave it in the book if you'd like but I like to take mine out and tape it to a board so that I have a little bit more stability when I'm painting and this is definitely personal preference if you want to keep it as a as is coloring book you definitely can you can color right on top and those colors and water aren't going to bleed through and ruin the pages underneath I thought that was kind of really really neat um, in videos past, I've actually used her older coloring books, or they're not that old, they're only a year old, but the previously released coloring books. I've used those to create envelopes or bookmarks or <clears throat> things like that, some really fun projects. And for this coloring book, I'm taking a little bit of a different approach for myself. I really want to explore watercoloring more realistic flowers or how I can make the flowers look a little bit more shaded and have more contrast and have more depth and detail. I really want to try that out. So when I pulled this page out, I looked it up and this these are magnolias. And it's interesting that I picked this one out because um, I saw like, well, I'm sure I've seen magnolias in the past, but I didn't know what that's what they were. Um, I saw my very first magnolia tree just a few weeks ago when I was visiting my friend Kathy in Maryland. And we were walking around her neighborhood and there was the most beautiful, huge, large, very old magnolia tree with lots and lots of blossoms on, blossoms on them. And I didn't know because this is my first time seeing it, but um, it's kind of rare to see so many blossoms on one tree, but these trees were so old and tall and so strong that they just had amazing blossoms on them. And the ones we saw in particular were white magnolias, but when I Googled it, after I found out that this was a magnolia flower at the beginning of the coloring book, I found out that magnolias uh, come in white and also kind of like a pink shade. And so I thought I would go with that. And I started out just painting it pink and then had to keep adding more and more depth of color in order to get those sh that shading in there. So um, I'm glad I have other flowers in this picture so I can keep trying to get that nice pink shade but I still really love how it turned out. I did add a little bit of yellow onto the leaves just to give it a little kiss of sunlight. And then I added some color to the center of the flower. And I just Googled magnolias and looked at various different photos to use as reference. And a lot of them had, you know, kind of like a, 
almost like a pinkish deep purple shade on the underside of the petals. So I wanted to make sure that I pulled in some of that color. Now by no means does this look like a very realistic magnolia, but you know, I learned a lot about having to get that depth of color. And so I think when I go to paint these other ones, I'm going to um, probably start with the darkest shade and use it very sparingly and then fade everything out to the lighter shade. I think that might be an easier way to control how much of the darkest color I use so that um, I get a little bit so this reads a little bit more like a very pale pink flower, if that makes sense. So I wanted to let you guys know that Christy is so generous. She wanted to uh, allow me to give away a copy of this brand new book to some of you guys. So if you would like to win a free copy of this book, um, this brand new watercoloring coloring book, um, I'm going to have you head over to my blog and leave a comment over there. It's a little bit easier to control um, giveaways over at my blog because you have to leave an email address when you leave a comment. So it's a little bit easier to contact winners over there. So um, there'll be a link on screen right now that you can just click over and leave a comment over there. And you don't have to leave any comments in particular. Just, you know, say hello or say you'd love to win the coloring book and you'll be entered into the drawing to win. And there, there are more details over at my blog as well. You're going to have about a week to enter the giveaway. And thank you so much to Christy for allowing me to give a book away to one of you guys. I think that's really, really generous. And I'm excited that you guys can try out this book as well. So this is pretty much my painting. This is the flower and the leaves that I worked on today. Um, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit about this book. I think this might be one of my favorite pages in the entire book. And Christy commented, I posted a picture of this on Instagram and she wrote back and said, that's my favorite page. So this is a really beautiful illustration. Once again, visit my blog for the giveaway and thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.